Hi guys, Tim here again, doing another beer review. Um, today's beer that I'm doing on, well, I'm going to say a few things first. Um, I've, I've done a lot of research on beer, uh, especially over, over the past year or so. And um, in my searches, I've I discovered a beer um, it's uh, it's a Trappist uh, Trappist beer um, like I've said in my other videos I'm really a huge fan of uh, Belgian style beers especially um, the, the Trappist ones um, there's uh, there's a beer that I found out um, I found out about a while ago um, called West Flatiron 12 um, in, in my research I found that people all over the world consider this to be like the best beer in the world um, well, I, I did a little research, you know, people having, so many people having such a good thing to say about a certain type of beer, you want to try it. Well, I have did research and I found out that West Flatiron 12 really is not easy to come by at all. It's, it's, um... Uh, it's made in small quantities f for a brewery um, so and because of it it's high popularity and it's small production rate it fetches a really high price I um, I've looked for it uh, I found it on eBay and <laughs> If you if you actually find a bottle of West Flatiron 12, you're gonna be paying at least like 35 bucks for just a regular size bottle. And I said, you know, <laughs> chances are I may not ever get to try it. Well, I was in my um, my favorite liquor store the other day and. Uh, I was over looking at the, the Belgian style beers and I came across something that that looked really cool. I like you know, I, I like to try all different kinds of beers, especially if it if it's Belgian. And um, usually when I get a beer I, I wait till after um, I've had it to do research on it, but this one, I, I don't know, I felt like I, I, f I just wanted to do a little bit of research on it before I actually tried it because I've never, it's, you'll, you'll, you'll see why when I show you the bottle. Um, it's called now bear with me if I don't say this properly. It's called Saint Bernardus Abt 12, ABT 12. Um, there's the the label on it. That's what it looks like, and uh, the cap. It's blue and it's got a little 12 in the middle and it say it says uh, Bernardus at 12 um, and I, I just thought it was kind of funny you see a happy monk on there enjoying a glass of beer I thought that was pretty cool kind of somewhat comical um, this this beer uh, It's 
it's made it's made in Belgium and when I researched it I actually went directly to the company's website first just to see what they had to say and um, this actually isn't an authentic Trappist ale um, I I guess apparently the brewery St. Bernardus used to be authentic Trappist but I guess their um, their contract with uh, the Belgian monks um, expired and they just pretty much went off on their own. Well, uh, I went to a couple other sites and um, just to see what other sites said about it and come to find out which by the name of it I kind of had this hunch but I wasn't really sure but um, another website I don't remember the name of it but it, it pretty much confirmed my hunch um, the person that wrote this particular art article on this website actually compared this beer to West Lateran 12 um, they said the flavor profile is very, very similar. They said um, if you haven't had the chance to um, get a West Flatiron 12, that this is a good option because it's a lot more available. Um, but yeah I, when I read that I was really excited I said you know I may not ever get to try West Flatiron 12 but here I got something that's comparable to it so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna open this right now because I'm really excited about this gonna try and be careful with this cap because it's a pretty cool cap I think I might save it go got it open now, pour. oh one one thing I forgot to mention which <laughs> this is uh, some pretty good information you what might want to know before you try this beer it's um, on the back of it uh, because when I bought it, I was looking um, for like the alcohol content and all that. Well, it's 10% alcohol by volume, which, yeah, it's a pretty strong beer. So, this is going to be one that I'm not going to down very quickly. This is one that I'm just going to enjoy. I was expecting it to be pretty dark. It's got a tan head on it. Not too much of a head, but I wasn't really expecting that at the that high of a alcohol percentage. You not expecting too much of a head on the beer, but yeah, it's it's dark. Mm. Definitely a Belgian, definitely a Belgian ale. It's got that Belgian yeast quality to it and the aroma. Ah, oh wow, that smells really good. Now, let's give it a taste. Wow. Wow, that is really, really good. Let me tell you, 
10% alcohol you would expect to taste the alcohol you'd expect it to be kind of boozy but let me tell you that 10% alcohol is hidden very well you get your um, typical um, like the uh, spiciness that you would get from a Belgian ale not spicy as in like hot spicy it's like a, almost like a, like a slight peppery almost not like I, I don't know it's really hard to explain you, you, you can't really describe it too much it, it's hard to describe you just really have to have a Belgian ale to see what I'm actually talking about but wow that's that's really good you get um like the, the dried fruits that you get from a lot of Belgian ales like the um almost like a like a dried cherry um, or raisins something to that effect prunes um, slight almost chocolatey like it, it doesn't taste like chocolate but it has like the notes of chocolate if you if you know what I mean um, but yeah that's that's really a fantastic beer um, if you ever see this in a store definitely definitely give it a try you won't be disappointed I I, <laughs> I I I I I never cease to be amazed by by these Belgian beers. They're like it, it. I just it's I can't understand how it's like you get this uh, high alcohol content for a beer, but yet it's so smooth. It's like taste wise the alcohol almost isn't there it's just it <laughs> you really gotta try a Belgian beer just to see what I'm trying about um, talking about but yeah definitely give this stuff a try if you if you find it St. Bernardus Abd 12 ABT 12 I really don't I'm guessing that's uh, that's Belgian. Uh, really don't know how to say that. Abt, ABT12, but that, like I said, that's what it looks like. And this stuff, <laughs> it's got a. Usually beers um, don't have that long of a shelf life, but. You research beers and you find out some actually do. Some actually sell it very well, like wine. This one, the expiration date on my particular bottle is January 13th, 2015. <laughs> so it's definitely got the stuff in there to back up aging. So I, I may even get another bottle of this and see what it tastes like after it's been aging for a while. So like I said, yeah, give it a try. Awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm definitely going to save this bottle. That's a cool bottle. Alright guys, have a good, have a good day. 
and I will see you soon.